Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Today's Gospel reflection is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 8 to 15. When two women would visit the tomb to give homage to their Lord and King, they would encounter an earthquake. They will see the tomb opened. They will see a light coming out of it. They will meet an angel. They will get the message that Jesus is risen and they are happy and they are running to the apostles, giving them, sharing them this message. And when they are running, they encounter Jesus himself. And when they encounter Jesus, Jesus will tell them that, Hallelujah, I am risen, let's have a party. Instead, Jesus gives them a word of consolation. And the word of consolation is, do not be afraid. The first message of Easter from Jesus to his apostles, to his followers is, do not be afraid. A word of consolation. Because Jesus knows that his disciples are in the midst of a difficult situation. Wherein their faith is completely crashed. Wherein their dreams are just disappeared. The dream of the new kingdom has vanished. They can't see any future. And at this moment, to build up their faith, faith Jesus gives them a word of consolation. Do not be afraid. Today, when we are celebrating Easter in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of this coronavirus situation, it has, it has been a year and we see these cases increasing. We have seen these cases around us, the numbers are just going on increasing and it is creating a fear in our heart to go out of the room and we are locked ourselves. Everybody advises us to be at home. It has created a fear in our heart. We can relate this situation to the celebration of the first Easter, to the first apostles. Our hearts are also filled with fear. We used to gather together to celebrate the Vigil Mass wherein the fire were blessed and we used to joyfully participate in the Easter Vigil service. But today, there is nothing like this. We are in closed doors trying to participate in the service online with fear in our heart and this message the first message of Easter comes to life to us today we can relate our situation to three categories of people during Jesus time the first category would be those women who are mourning because they have lost their beloved Jesus their beloved Savior in a similar manner, today, many of us would have lost their loved ones. They might be missing the presence of their loved ones amongst them. In some families, their loved one might be in the hospital in a critical situation. We call it high risk category. They feel that they will not be able to see their face again. To all these people, Jesus is giving this first message of consolation. Do not be afraid. The second category of people are like Apostle Peter. Peter, when he met Jesus last time, he denied him. He rejected him not once but thrice. He ruined his relation with Jesus. And after that, he was feeling sorry. He wanted to repent. 
he wanted to set things right today we might find people who are in the midst of sin they find themselves into sin and they want someone a priest a minister who can counsel them and set things right in their life set things right with god in their life and this situation creates a fear in their heart and to this category of people jesus is giving the first message of consolation that is do not be afraid the first message of easter to this people is do not be afraid the third category of people are those who didn't have any name who didn't have any position in the society the people in the society used to consider them outcast like leper they used to call out themselves unclean and people used to run away from them to those people jesus went closer to them he touched them he healed them he gave them a name he gave them a status he gave them a position they started following jesus everywhere where jesus used to go in a similar manner in today's world there might be people who don't have any position in the society as long as they don't come to the church they feel like they are at home in the church and today in this pandemic situation they cannot visit the church they cannot participate in the eucharist with their fellow brothers and this creates a fear in their heart a fear of isolation a fear of loneliness and to all those people jesus is giving the first message of easter do not be afraid a word of consolation do not be afraid in a similar manner because of this pandemic people around might have faced many challenges many different situations they might be facing difficulties at every moment of their life and to all these people the future has just vanished they feel that everything is finished but jesus is telling them that this is not the end this is a beginning he is taking all these people with him 2000 years back to show them the experience of the first apostles the first experience of the first easter and repeats the message do not be afraid again and again and again the whole easter season to build up our faith to build up our faith to build up our faith in jesus to all this people jesus is giving one message that is do not be afraid and we are expected to have faith in jesus because he is going to make everything right amen heavenly father at this moment i remember all those people who are badly hit by pandemic who find difficult to accept this easter and the message of easter jesus be with them console them and make them experience your presence which will bring up a faith bring up a hope bring up a new beginning for them we make this prayer through christ our lord amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit